The internet is obsessed with film looks now. From creators like Natalie to Gox, we see these beautiful film looks being created with digital camera footage. Now creating this look with color grading is still a very tedious task as a film look is a collaboration of achieving the grade, the rolling of highlights, removing sharpness, adding grey inhalation, bloom, damage and much much more. Safe to say it's a very time consuming process that takes around 20 to 30 minutes per footage. But if you want a detailed tutorial, let me know. But today we are looking at how we can achieve this rich film look in less than 2 minutes with Dehancer. Hello, so today we are looking at how we can create the film look very very quickly inside of DaVinci Resolve. I am going to be using a paid plugin called Dehancer Pro and here it is. So this is an image that was taken with a Sony A7 III and it's shot on S-Log3. So just let's just take care of that here. It is not a Rec. 709 footage. I'll go to choose camera and then choose my camera A7 III and S-Log3 as Gamut. 3 dot scene it has been like five seconds and it already has such a rich filmic look but we're not gonna stop here we're gonna use our rest of the two minutes and make it work so i think it's a little too bright i'm gonna bring the exposure down a little bit the temperature looks a little too much on the warmer side i would like my pages to have a little more uh, bluish tint to it so i'll bring the temperature down so the these parts at least get a little bit of bluish tint i will push that up a little bit i am losing i don't want to lose the yellow and the orange from my skin tone so do you want the magenta kind of look or the greenish kind of look that is totally up to you but in this tutorial i don't want the clip to look like a very vintage film i want to keep it as grounded as possible so i'm gonna push a little bit of magenta into it and uh, there's nothing to worry about defringe and defringe radius don't worry about it next comes the most important part the film stock there are different way too many different options uh, in Dehancer Pro so generally my favorite film stocks are this Kodak Vision 3 ones and also the Fujifilm ones okay but okay I'll, we're, we're gonna move on to I'm gonna try all of these this gives a way too warm look I guess this looks okay this is way too faded and this oh this looks good for now i think this looks good this is a good starting point for us uh, the contrast i can boost just a little bit by the way you have to come into every section and enable it first i'll boost the contrast just a little bit the gamma correction i'll just leave it there the color separation is good the color boost is good but again i don't want to do it from here there's another part where i generally like to do it i'll just bring it back to zero Film compression, yes, I want to use that. This is the main part where you can sort of change your tonal range, which I don't want to change much, but the color density. You can add the, some color density from here, or you can add some color density from here. I generally like to do it here, so I'm gonna leave it here as well. Now, in terms of expand, it is already enabled. Here is basically your black point is basically your shadows, and your white points is basically your highlights. So if I bring this to this side it can make brighter sh shadows but i don't want brighter shadows i think the shadows are looking good but the white point i would like to bring a little bit down to make these pages uh, a little more bright all right now we come to the film print because we are not going for a very heavy film look we are not going to use anything we just keep it linear but if, if we were going for one we could use any of these things kodak 2383 or Fujifilm 35. The exposure again, this is already enabled. We should also enable analog range limiter so that doing anything to the exposure and everything does not do anything to your colors. So exposure, I'm just gonna leave it there. Tonal contrast, I'm gonna increase a little bit. I think a little more contrast can be used. Now color density, I'll increase it from here. We could have increased from here as well, but I'm gonna increase from here instead. By the way, you can try Dehancer with a free trial period as well. There will be a link in the description. Alright, this looks good to me. Now I'm coming to color head. This is basically where you can tweak your particular colors or tweak your particular tonal ranges. So I'm just gonna, just gonna enable it. I think there is a little lack of yellow at this point. So I'm gonna push that a little too much. I want to really get that warm indoor lighty feel. And then I'm gonna push a little more magenta because I think these pages are going a little too green to my liking. Although I like green, but for this particular look, I'm not trying to get there. 
And for cyan and red, I'm just gonna push a little bit of cyan into it, just a little bit. Then shadow tones, I'm gonna add a little more coldness to the shadows. You see, this is making the shadows warm, this is making the shadows cold. I'm just gonna add a little bit of bluish tint to it. The mid-tones can stay where they are and the highlights can get a little warmer, is what I think. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. So that doesn't look good. I'll push the mid-tones a little warmer. And this preserved exposure should be at 100 so that whatever changes you make to the tonal range or the colors does not affect the overall exposure of the image. And now coming to the film grain part. Uh, here we will generally be using 16mm or 35mm 250 ISO. And uh, that already looks good. If you think this is a little too much to your liking, you can reduce it. And now we are going to add some halation. If you don't know what halation is, let me show you. I'm just going to turn off the film grain and look at the bright parts. Okay, look at these bright spots or bright parts. If I turn halation on, you'll see a reddish glow along all the bright parts. I'll turn it down just a little bit. And maybe not this one. This one looks much more subtle. Yes. You can barely see the difference, but you will see like all the edges of bright parts have a red glowing border now, which is a very uh, distinctive characteristic of old film stocks. And that is something again, we are trying to replicate. So I'm going to go to film grain again. I'm going to turn it on. There is bloom as well. Bloom is basically uh, the effect that you can f already find in Da Vinci that is called glow. It is basically the same thing. But as we are doing everything in Dehancer, we're going to keep doing in Dehancer. So if I add a bloom, you will see all the bright big parts will start like have a very diffused glow. If I increase it more, you'll be able to see what's what's like changing. Like if I turn it off and I turn it on, you'll see there is a glow around the pages because that is the brightest part of this image. And film breadth and gate wave, you don't really need to worry about any of this. Overscan, again, you don't really need to worry about any of these things. Uh, you can add a little bit of vignette. I'll just enable it. And you see towards the corners, there's a very good vignette added to this. You can also adjust the size of it, how strong is the vignette, but I was happy with the basic settings. And if you come down to monitor, you can also see things like false color and clipping indication to see which parts of your image are clipping, which is not a good sign. So all these parts, all the blue parts are like complete dark, like completely black, which is not a good sign, which is not something we want to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up here, find my black point and I'm going to push it just a little bit so nothing is hopefully clipping anymore see nothing is clipping anymore i'll just keep the clipping indicator on and i'll manage my blacks just so it doesn't clip okay it's not clipping it's not complete black over here right now so that is again another uh, characteristic of film colors that the whites are never completely white the blacks are never the complete black okay so that is the overview of the basic dehancer pro workflow that i follow but yeah of course there are way more things that i do on different footages this was particular for this footage but here is a before and here is the after i think that is how we achieved the film look in under two minutes it took me more time because i was explaining at every step but it's a really quick process with dehancer dehancer is also available on ios with a very simple interface i can do everything that i did on my computer on my phone as well both to photos and videos see it's beautiful like it is probably the best film emulation plugin that i have ever used and you can also try out dehancer by clicking the first link in the description or if you like it do use the code sanko at checkout it helps the channel out a lot and if you want to learn more about color grading and filmmaking in general make sure to subscribe and leave a comment about what should my next video be see you